Italian football lover channel, my friends. Milan won 2 1 against Roma. I want to talk about the tactics and analysis of this game. I want to start with Roma's tactics. And Roma played in Paolo Fonseca's classical formation 3 4 2 1. And uh, in Roma, uh, every time uh, on the wings of the midfield, Spinazzola and Karstorp came, came to forward and supported the attacks. When they came to forward, Karstorp and Spinazzola, Spinazzola, Pellegrini and Mkhitaryan came to middle and uh, they got into the penalty area of Milan and searched for the goal positions. And in Roma, uh, Mkhitaryan made press on defender Simon Kaya and Borja Mayoral made press on other central defender Tomori. And at the same time, Spinazzola came to forward and made press on right back Calabria and at the same time Karstorp came to forward and made press on a left back a Theo Hernandez uh, and at the same time uh, on the midfield uh, Vidal played close to Kessi and Veratut uh, played uh, close to uh, Tonali and uh, Vidal played more defensively and Veratut uh, Veratut supported the Roma attacks and Veratut uh, received the balls on the midfield and uh, carried to forward fastly and uh, Roma developed counter attacks with Mkhitaryan, Veratut and Pellegrini and uh, Mkhitaryan's one goal was uh, disallowed by the referee uh, in the first half Mkhitaryan scored the goal uh, at the back post with his headshot but uh, before this goal, uh, Mancini made a foul in Milan box and uh, Mkhitaryan uh, found one, one more goal position uh, in the first half but uh, his shot was saved by goalkeeper Donnarumma and uh, a developing attack from the right uh, uh, Pellegrini uh, found go another goal position uh, in the midfield in the box of Milan here and uh, this ball was saved by Donnarumma again and uh, sometimes Mancini uh, came to forward and supported the attacks and uh, Mancini uh, in corner kicks for Roma Mancini got into the Milan box and searched for the goal positions at the same time and uh, but Federico Fazio caused penalty in the first half uh, he made a foul to Calabria and uh, Milan found goal from penalty with Kessi uh, in the first half and the, world, the first half was finished 1-0, uh, Milan was 1-0 ahead in the first half uh, in the second half uh, really uh, Roma started the second half better and, uh, and Veratut scored the goal and again he came to forward and uh, he came to forward and uh, came to uh, here front of uh, penalty box of Milan and his shot scored to goal. Uh, the score was 1 1 with a uh, very good goal. Uh, but after Milan uh, found one more goal uh, with Paul Lopez, big mistake. Paul Lopez uh, pa pass mistake. He mistake mistake pass and he gave his pass to a uh, midfield and uh, Salah. Selamakers got the ball and gave his pass to Rebic and Roma defense line was unprepared in this position uh, and Rebic came from the left got into the penalty area and scored the goal uh, Paul Lopez made a big mistake in second goal of Milan in Roma and uh, Paulo Fonseca made some substitutions for Roma in this game and first substitution uh, Roma's right wing back was so weak every time uh, Milan forced the right wing back of, of Roma with uh, Ante Rebic and uh, because of this Fazio out and uh, Bruno Perez in after these substitutions uh, Mancini started to play on the left of the three defenders and Karstorp uh, Paolo Fonseca pulled Karstorp uh, to the right of three defenders Karstorp played here and uh, Bruno Perez on the right of the midfield and he played more offensively and supported the uh, Roma attacks and uh, came to back at the same time defensively and uh, second substitution uh, for Roma on the midfield and Villar out and El Sharavi in after this substitution Pellegrini start to play 
uh, in the position of uh, Villar here, Pellegrini played on the midfield, central midfield, in Villar's position, and uh, Mikitarian uh, played on the right forward here, Mikitarian, and in the second half, Mikitarian forced the uh, Milan defense and found some goal positions for uh, Roma and El Sharavi played on the left forward here. And uh, last two substitutions for Roma uh, was were made by Paolo Fonseca and uh, Veratut out on the midfield. And Diawara replaced of him. Diawara played on the midfield here. And Borja Mayor out Pedro in. After this substitution, uh, Mikitarian played as a central forward. Mikitarian played here as a central forward. And Pedro played on the right forward. And uh, but uh, Roma couldn't find second goal, and uh, Milan won 2 1 against Roma. But it was a balanced game, it was near to draw. But uh, Milan won uh, 2 1 uh, and uh, got the very important three points against Roma uh, in away game. Secondly, I want to talk about AC Milan's Stefano Pioli's tactics. Milan played in classical 4-2-3-1 formation in this game. And uh, on the forward, uh, Zlatan uh, made press on central defender Cristante. And uh, Zlatan uh, scored one goal uh, in the beginning of the game. But this goal was uh, disallowed by the uh, uh, referee because of offside. And uh, Zlatan uh, missed the, another goal position in the begin, beginning of the game in uh, Roma box and uh, Milan started the game better and effective. Uh, Antelevic came to forward and made press from Mancini and uh, Revic forced the right back of Roma and uh, he, he carried the balls to the forward and found goal positions from the uh, right of the Roma and Selamakers made press on uh, Fazio. Uh, on the midfield, uh, Hakan Chalhanoğlu uh, came close to Villar sometimes and uh, Tonali made press on uh, Veretut and Kesi played close to Villar. In one position, uh, Kesi made press on Villar. Uh, Kesi uh, has stolen the ball from Villar and carried the ball to the forward, gave his pass to Rebic and Rebic got into the penalty area. Zlatan scored the goal but this goal was disallowed by the referee because of offside. And uh, in Milan, especially, uh, Milan made counter-attacks with Theo Hernandez came to forward and supported the attacks at the same time. Calabria sometimes uh, came to forward and uh, participated to Milan attacks. When Calabria came to forward, Tonali came back to right, uh, replaced of Calabria. And uh, Tonali and Kesi on the midfield uh, played uh, close to each other and uh, in, in Milan, uh, found uh, so many goal positions uh, in the first half and uh, really uh, this uh, young defender Tomori uh, was so successful on defense uh, his in interceptions uh, were so successful really and uh, and he played close to Tomori played close to uh, Borja Mayora and Kaya uh, played close to Mikitarian uh, on Milan defense and uh, the first half, uh, Milan found to go from penalty with Kesi and Calabria came to forward and Fazio caused penalty and uh, Kesi scored to uh, Milan's goal from penalty. And uh, Milan start to second half with a substitution. Hakan Chalhanoğlu played so ineffective in the first half and Brahim Diaz replaced of Hakan Chalhanoğlu in the second half. Diaz played here and uh, but Roma found to go with Veretut in the beginning of the second half. But uh, Roma's uh, goalkeeper Paul Lopez made a big mistake, and Selamakers got the ball and gave his pass to Rebic. Rebic got into the penalty area and scored the second goal for Milan. Milan was 2 1 ahead with Ante Rebic's goal. And uh, after uh, Ante Rebic uh, was injured, and uh, Milan made a second substitution uh, in the game, and uh, Rebic out. And at the same time, Zlatan Ibrahimovic a little bit injured. Zlatan out and Rebic out. Leao got into the pitch and Leao played on the forward. And Krunic started to play here like this. After these substitutions, 
Ibrahim Diaz played on the forward and Leao started to play on the left and Krunic uh, played uh, behind of Ibrahim Diaz here and after uh, last two substitutions for Milan and uh, Salamakers out and uh, Castillejo in on the right and Tonali out and Mete in after these substitutions uh, Milan's formation has been changed. Milan started to play in 4-3-3 formation like this. Uh, Kisi played on the center of the midfield here and made a play uh, close to right of the midfield and Krunic started to play uh, on the close to play close to uh, left of the midfield. Krunic played here like this and Leo Diaz and Castillejo this three played on the forward and uh, Stefano Pioli uh, made Milan uh, midfield stronger because, because Milan was 2-1 uh, ahead and uh, this game uh, has been ended and Milan won and uh, it was very important 3 points for Milan Milan won 2-1 against Roma all my analysis and uh, comments like this about uh, Roma Milan game you can subscribe to my channel, watch my videos. Please open up your notification next notification bell. You can write your suggestions and comments under my video. Thank you very much. See you on my next videos. Bye.